Hello everyone and welcome back to the Nerd Cave. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can replace your old boring dice with this nerdy custom Raspberry Pi Pico dice PCB brought to you by the sponsor of this channel, JLC PCB, who produce high quality PCBs at a low cost. More on them later. Through some basic coding, we can emulate a dice roll. We have a left dice and a right dice, which can be rolled separately by the push of these two buttons, or both using this middle button. I first made a prototype of this on a breadboard, using 7 LEDs to mimic all the possible faces of a typical dice. The schematic diagram for this is shown here. After building the circuit and writing some basic code, we have a working prototype. Full details of this can be found in the link down below that will take you to my personal website where I have documented everything. With a working prototype, we can then just use EZDA to design a custom PCB. The PCB design for this project was very basic to create as we just need to position the LEDs to show the possible faces of a dice. Happy with the design, I then ordered it from JLC PCB, which sent me this great quality PCB. If you want to order the same PCB, you can find the Gerber file on my website. Use this link to sign up for JLC PCB and order it. By using this link, you will be supporting this channel. The components needed for this project are 14 LEDs, 14 resistors which can range from 330 ohm to 1 kilo ohm, 3 12 by 12 mm push buttons, 2 20 female header pins and a Raspberry Pi Pico. All that is left to do then is to solder everything together. I always hold my components together to the PCB using blue tack, which will make it easier for components to stay in place when soldering. After soldering all the components, we then need to design a simple case for the PCB. We can use Fusion 360, which we import the dimensions of the PCB, and we can design a very simple case. You can find the SDL of this case on my website. The PCB gets attached to the case using four 3mm screws. Now that our dice is ready, we just need to upload the code, which you can copy from my website. But let's have a look at the code together. We first import all the necessary modules, then we see the random number generator with the current time in microseconds. Then we define the LED pins for the two dice. Then we define the buttons, and then we define the LED patterns for each number on the dice. We then define functions to turn off the LEDs of a specific dice, and to show the number on a dice. The main loop lesson for the main button presses, if a button is pressed, it will generate a random number. Display that number on the dice, wait for a bit, and then turn off the LEDs. So that in short is how the Spico dice work. This is part of a big course where I'm going to do this in full detail with the PCB design and how to approach writing this code. So if that is something you are interested in, make sure to subscribe because in the next few weeks, the course will hopefully be done and it will be uploaded on YouTube. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.